you plan on seeing Oppenheimer this weekend, the movie has a special connection to Kansas City. Specifically, the Truman Library. KMC 9's Alan Shope went to Independence and found out the former president and Robert Oppenheimer had an interesting friendship. Highly secret matter. That's a quote from this letter. It's the first letter Truman ever received regarding the atomic bomb. It could really change the war in Japan. One of the many artifacts from the Manhattan Project and Oppenheimer's work on the A-bomb. This is the safety plug from the bomb that was dropped on Nagasaki. American history, that certainly tells a story, and it literally has the engineer's fingerprints on it. Mark Adams has been with the Truman Library for 26 years. He knows all about the history between Truman and Oppenheimer. He's not sure how much Truman will be featured in the movie, but says their relationship was an interesting one. But after the war, Oppenheimer and others kind of wish they hadn't done it. I think Truman f probably felt a little frustrated about that. He adds, he really had two goals. He wanted to end the war as quickly as possible, and he wanted to bring American soldiers back home. Both were accomplished. Folks at the Truman Library hope the new movie will show a little bit more about the decision Truman had to make and why he made it. But I don't think that Truman really uh, looked back on it. I think he felt like it achieved his aims. He says, as for the movie, he's already got his tickets. I don't imagine Harry Truman will be a large part in the movie. I understand that Gary Oldman is playing him, so I'm kind of curious to see his role, but I don't expect it to be a large one. In Independence, Alan Shope, KMBC 9 News. The movie opens up in theaters tomorrow. Mark Adams says the museum has had a busy summer so far.